How do we deal with objects sitting on or sliding down ramps? What if something is going down a hill? What if something is at rest on an incline? No matter what the situation, we have to draw a free body diagram. So let's do a generic one for something sliding down a hill. I'll draw the object, but not the hill. But I do like to draw the hill as a dotted line to remind myself that it's there. So is there gravity on this thing? Of course there is. Let's assume we're on Earth. Gravity is down. Let's assume that it is equal to 9.8 times the mass of the thing, mg. No problem. This thing is on an incline. It's on the ramp. Which way is the normal force? It's going to be perpendicular to the surface always, so boom. It's a little more obvious now, I hope, that we're not sure how big Fn is, because clearly it's not equal and opposite to gravity in this case. In general, it's not equal and opposite to gravity. What other forces are there? This thing is sliding down the ramp, so some of you are going to want to put Fa, but the question doesn't say anything about a person hitting it or pulling it or kicking it, so if you can't tell me who's pushing on it, Fa doesn't exist. There isn't an Fa. Is there friction? If something slides down a ramp, yeah, for sure, unless it's some kind of super slippery, icy, hovercraft situation, there's going to be friction, and which way is it? If this thing is sliding down the ramp, friction is going to be up the ramp. So we've got gravity, friction, and Fn, and that's all the forces in this simple situation. So that's my free body diagram. Step two is to define my x and y direction. Which way is this thing going to accelerate? This is accelerating down the ramp, so I'm going to call down the ramp the x direction. I'm going to call y perpendicular to the ramp. So now that I've said which way is x, step three of any free body diagram is to break stuff into x and y components. Fn, though, is already in the y direction. FF is already in the negative x direction. You can see these two lines are perfectly parallel. The only thing, therefore, that's not in the x or y direction is gravity. So I'm going to take gravity and I'm going to break him up. I'm going to break him up into FGY and FGX. You can draw FGX there or here, but I think it's a good idea to draw it up here just so you don't forget about it when it comes time to doing your x and y equations. Now all I've done is draw fgy and fgx. I haven't actually worked out what they are, so I should do that. The angle of the incline is theta. And if you think about it, the normal force would be straight up if theta was zero. And if you go up 10 degrees, then the normal force is going to swing by 10 degrees, which means this angle is also going to be 10 degrees. Try a few examples and you should see what I mean. You can also, of course, draw a big triangle and you'll see that this has to be 90 degrees. And if you do another triangle down here, this is 90 degrees, you can see that that's 10 degrees. Convince yourself of it, it is for sure true. So looking at the x and y direction, FGX is going to be gravity here, which is the hypotenuse, which is mg times the sine opposite of theta, sine theta, whereas fgy is going to be mg cos theta. That should make sense. After you practice two or three times, you'll stop thinking about it and you'll just kind of half memorize that fgx is mg sine theta and fgy is mg cos theta. Simple enough. So what are my two equations? The x direction equation is fgx. That's what's making it want to go down the hill. And friction, depending on how big it is, is either stopping it or slowing it down. And that is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration, as the x direction always is when you pick x as the direction of acceleration. What's the y direction equation? We've got fn. And in the negative y direction, we have FGY. Those are the only two forces, so they're going to be equal to zero. They are going to balance out in this case. Fn is going to be equal to not FG, but to FGY, to Mg cos theta. Anything else I want to point out here?